Maui's mayor, the DOE, and one of Hawaii's largest school bus providers tried to fix the Valley Isle school bus crisis, but to no avail today. Always Investigating has been following the story and has the latest. Gina Mangieri, wearing her Go Farrington dress, joins us now. Gina? That's right, Joe. It's still at a stalemate with a veteran Oahu company that's new to Maui defending its territory in the midst of a staffing shortfall while the displaced competitor tells the DOE and now the mayor that they could handle a handed over contract. Kids without rides or certainty on their routes are stuck in the middle. Some Maui bus routes have been suspended or consolidated in areas where vendor ground transport said they don't have enough qualified drivers yet. Maui Mayor Alan Arakawa and several DOE representatives and Roberts Hawaii met on Maui this afternoon to see if Roberts could take over. I think one of the main things that DOE was making uh, was basically communicating to us that even if we help them out on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on a daily basis with no contract, that it might even be them interfering with the current contractor. The DOE told me this afternoon there are too many legal obligations for outside parties to engage. It's disappointing, but this is the reality. The DOE referred parents to use the county's bus system in the interim, but the mayor says Maui bus cannot handle an influx of hundreds of students with a couple of our 30 passenger buses, and he's strongly urging parents to make other arrangements for next week. Ground Transport, which has a large Oahu operation but is new to Maui this year, was not included in today's meeting. Ground Transport tells us they're capable and are most of the way to the finish line. Do you still think this can be solved by the first day? I, I think realistically, I think you're not going to have uh, all of the drivers uh, for every single route right on the first day. We have several applicants that are currently um, that's going through the process right now. And I'm going to say somewhere around 15 or 20 of them that are going through. But of course, they don't have a CDL license. So they have to be upgraded. And you're talking about maybe about three weeks or so. Three, three and a half weeks. Will that group then satisfy all the drivers that you need for the school year? Absolutely. Now, we asked if the county considered temporarily expanding its service, which is subcontracted to Roberts Hawaii, near the affected schools. A spokesperson said the focus of the meeting was to mediate between the DOE and Roberts Hawaii. We'll keep an eye on if there are any more changes in the final days between now and next week's start of the school year. Gina Mangieri, KHON 2 News. We're also learning more about how Kauai bus routes are being affected. The Department of Transportation told us today bus routes for Kapa'a Elementary, Middle and High, along with Eleele Elementary, Waimea Canyon Middle, and Waimea High School are being temporarily consolidated starting Monday. The DOE says school administrators will make sure students will have enough time for breakfast and will not be marked as tardy. For the consolidated bus schedules for both Maui and Kauai, visit our website, khon2.com.